Hello, the purpose of this video is to explain how to create general structural notes uh, or otherwise known as sheet S0. Um, the information that structural engineers need to put on their plans um, are just tremendous. They have to specify uh, the quality of the nails, the type of wood, um, the strength of the concrete, how many days you're going to cure the concrete and all the other stuff. So. Um, what they have, what they did uh, in practice is create um, this first sheet of their structural set, and it's called uh, the structural uh, general notes or general structural notes, and they typically create um, or label this as sheet S zero or sheet S zero one, uh, anything that has zero on it. Okay, and it's just uh, usually just a bunch of text um, like this uh, shown to you. Um, and um, in it are basically specifications of um, nailings, what type of wood, quality of plywood, strength of concrete, and stuff, all that other stuff, okay? So we're going to try to do that right now. And typically, what we will find if we work for a structural engineer is that they do have a, a database of this one. And all they're going to do is um, copy and paste um, from their database what um, is required or what's relevant to the project because like for example our project does not have any uh, i-beams or a lot of steel on it so um, they can't just put something standard like steel because on, our, on this project we don't have steel and so they, we have to remove that so we're going to try, we're gonna try to simulate that one um, and I have prepared here uh, two PDFs that I need you to download so you're going to click on uh, let's say the first one and uh, click download uh, when it opens up on your chrome uh, folder you're going to click on this uh, button here download and it should download on your downloads folder okay uh, show in folder and you should see that here now okay and what you're going to do is you're going to like um, open this pdf um, and you can open it in AutoCAD if it opens. Sometimes it doesn't. So we're going to try to um, do something where it doesn't automatically open in AutoCAD. We've done the PDF on a detail where you can open the PDF or import the, the PDF in AutoCAD. But we're going to try to do it um, something differently. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to um, open this PDF. Uh, in either your uh, PDF viewer, uh, Chrome will open just like we see here. Chrome will open, okay. Or you can download, uh, let's say, a PDF uh, reader. So PDF reader, press enter. And Adobe, I think, provides a free PDF reader. So click on that one and we're going to download a free reader so we can just read the PDF and then we're going to download the reader. And when it's finished, it's going to open here. So click on that one. And when you finish, click uh, installing, click uh, finish when you're finished installing, I mean. And then go to your folder where you downloaded um, your PDF file and simply double click the file and it should open for you um, the PDF using your Adobe reader. Yours might be a little bit different. I have a uh, I have a pro version installed and you might not have a pro version but it works the same way. And let's start with copying um, the abbreviations list. Okay so we're going to start copying this. We're going to click the plus sign to zoom in. <clears throat> Um, and we can uh, put this in AutoCAD just like we did on our detail from a PDF file. We can just simply go to insert from home, go to insert, go to PDF import, click PDF import, go to your downloads folder wherever you stole the file, and double click the file. Um, we want to um, check everything like this, insert except this one, import as block, okay, and then click OK. And then click anywhere on a new 
AutoCAD file. So I call this S Notes uh, and then click it there, and there you go. Okay. However, um, these drawings are um, an, um, an item for every line. Okay. And it, you, you really can't squeeze this. If you double click this or something, you, you can't edit this. Okay. So you can do that, but there's nothing more you can do. But we, we, we can do this because uh, um, these abbreviations over here is very hard to copy. Okay, so if you go to AutoCAD and um, you see here your abbreviations, click the pan button over here and do this. So if you want to copy this, if you select, um, if you select with your text tool or select this, it, you don't know what it's actually selecting. It's very hard to select. Okay. Uh, oops. No. What would I do? Edit and do. Uh, which you can hold your control and your alt key on your keyboard and then do your selection to, to get a better preci preci precision. And then it starts at A, B, A, V, B. So right click copy. And then when you go to AutoCAD, uh, you can right click uh, clipboard paste and paste it anywhere and then if you look at it you you have a b a g g r or okay a b a g g r but on our pdf it's a b a b v a c a c s so it so it's really hard to select on columns okay um so um this is a better deal selecting it this way uh and then you can play around uh with this one um i think you can select this whole thing and then um now you can't so um, there's really nothing you can do except when you select it that way uh also here uh it's hard to edit these uh and change the font uh so we're going to do that for these abbreviations but uh for the for this one, okay, uh, you can select this whole thing, but you can see this one highlight. So you need to uh, press your control and your alt keyword, and then you can select. But if you select letter A's and letter B's and letter C's, and then right click copy, when you go to AutoCAD and control V, you're going to see your ABC's are serpent here A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and it's upside down. Uh, and then they lost its uh, bullets. So these gel items will apply to structural drawings. Uh, I believe that's correct here, right? It says these gel items shall apply to structural drawings as otherwise indicated. So it's basically the same, but it just lost this thing over here. Okay. You can go and select on AutoCAD. So select anywhere first. Hold your control and your Alt key. And then just select the one after, before the ABCs like that. And then right click copy and then go to AutoCAD and then control V and paste and you won't have your ABC. But this one is not like this because you can simply adjust this with and which we need. And then you can just double click this and then insert your A here. Period, press enter, and then uh, over here to backspace, press enter, it should automatically go to B, uh, building code. So you have a cheat sheet here on this side. Okay. Um, it says here that unless otherwise, and the next letter C is unless, um, uh, what is letter C again? It says any, it starts at any discrepancies. Okay. And D S. So this one was here, and this one was here. So we're just backspacing. And then this one you backspace, and then you press enter. So these are the kinds of edits that you have to do because uh, you can. Uh, I'm going to move this closer here. Because you can manipulate this unlike these, uh, but we do need this. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to copy and paste each one. Um, double click here. And this one, the, the builder is, just, is the D here so this is d here okay so we're gonna bring this up press space 
and then architect bring this up space backspace uh, and then space bring this up by backspacing press space and then here this is where your letter C here okay it says here the builder shall the builder shall so we're gonna click here backspace and then press enter and that the letter D will automatically appear okay this one we have the backspace and then press space and uh, the letter E is the builder is. So the builder is. So this is that one. So again, backspace, press enter, letter E. Okay. And so basically, you're going to copy this format here. <clears throat> so let's, let's just complete it for you. Um, definition, uh, and then press, so that's your F. And then G is definition of special. So here's your G again. So we're going to copy this backspace space everything is okay here start a again backspace space and then here backspace press enter because that's our letter g and then next one's definition special inspection so that's this one here so we're gonna go here and then backspace space and then here this is our next one so backspace enter okay um, and the next one's definition structural so this one here so we're gonna just fix this backspace space this is backspace space and this is our next one, backspace enter, okay, H-I. And then basically uh, fix fix this here, uh, backspace space here also, structural backspace space, and the last one here, backspace space, okay. Responsibility, why is it highlighted? Oh, letter S is missing, it's misspelled. Uh, conformance, uh, hmm. We got is this uh, an exact word so let's go and uh, see if that is an exact word conformance so conformance conformance conforms so conform minus so it, that's the exact spelling so conform and so here Come foreign, come for months. Where's that? Con form. Oh, you, they, they put an M here. They put an M, which my AutoCAD. Come for. So this is supposed to be an N. Okay, so you gotta pick, fix the spelling. That's okay. IBC, IBC. Uh, buildings is capital, loads of buildings, NDS, so I think everything's okay. So click close, and then the good thing about this one, once you do it this way, is you can click, and then again, like I told you, you can adjust the box. You can adjust the box, okay, to fit your design. So, uh, once you do that, okay, oh, uh, select this, press delete, this is what we need, uh, and that's general here. Um, so at this point, this one you can you can also uh, double click and here press space, pull up, backspace, and then put in uh, 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 general. We're not we can we don't need to put all one, but if you want to, sure you can. General and then press space. There you go. So we got the first the first one. The second one we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, this is on S notes. I'm going to just save this so that I don't lose anything and then go back to your Acrobat um, and we are going to copy the design criteria too. So we're going to control alt, hold it, hold those key keywords down and then select. And then right click copy. And then go to AutoCAD and control V. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to put your ABC. Uh, you go here. A is with category two. Oh, no, did I not copy? A with category. I started with seismic here. Did not copy with category. I did. So just simply control C. And then here, I double click inside and then press enter. Up, control V. And then it changed the text height. Okay, I wonder why it did that. Um, anyway, what's the text height here? This is a 
text side of 0 0.0769, this one here, 0 0.0769, press enter. Hmm. 0 0.0769, text side here, 0 0.0769, enter. There you go. So there you go. So and then you're gonna put your letter A B C here. Uh so we're gonna put this put this aside. And uh do the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna click this and change the box, make it narrow. There you go, and then uh Put in a letter A on this category, A period, enter. And then the seismic, we're going to backspace and press enter. So it's letter B there. And then here, I'm going to just press tab to oh, double click again. Two press tab. Uh, uh, this one is just too narrow. So I'm just going to um, press tab. Four plus tab, six plus tab. System lights, uh, bearing wall system. Okay, so this one has to go be backspace. Press enter. Uh, no, this one press tab again. <clears throat> and this one seven press tab. Okay, uh, and then procedure it's supposed to be at the end of this one, so. We make that a little bit max space. Uh, this lower uh, line here, I can adjust the um, I can adjust the alignment with this lower uh, lower dot or lower heading here, just like Microsoft Word. And if I highlight this second one here, I can actually uh, I don't want to adjust that. And adjust, I'm gonna adjust that too. There we go. No, I don't want to adjust that. I just leave it there. Light frame bearing. I can just press enter here and then tab and then press space and do that. Okay. Here, uh, equivalent lateral force procedure. Just press enter here and then tab and then press space. And there you go. Uh, procedure and then live loads is another one. Wind analysis procedure uh, and our next one is uh, wind. Uh, did it copy wind? Oh here it is wind. Uh, what is this for? Where is that? Oh it's the live loads here. It changed the order again. Okay so you need to make sure that uh, it's in the same order, okay? Um, so we have to fix it. Wind is supposed to be here. Uh, you know what? Let's do it this way. We can just delete that whole thing, change this, and then we did A and B. Uh, we go back to our PDF, and we're doing C. So we're going to press Control Alt, and then we're going to do the wind. And, and then control copy, right click and control V, and then here's your wind. Okay, and double click that, and we're going to put in start with letter C, period, enter. Uh, I didn't accept that, so let's just A, period, enter. There you go. Press enter, press enter, and there's C. And then press enter, and there's C, and then we can just delete. Backspace, backspace here and backspace here and then see if I can right click this one and change this to C. If not then I can simply highlight that. So this is now like double click to edit press enter and then control V and then here backspace and then press enter and it did not do my C. C, there you go. Let's see, enter. 
You don't need this anymore. Press delete. <clears throat> okay. So you're basically going to copy this, but you want it to be in one box like this one. Uh, and we're going to copy this whole thing uh, until until this, including the nail chart. So we need this one, this one, and um, uh, the abbreviation, we're going to copy that as is. We're not going to copy it just line by line, but you want to manipulate it so we can change the size of the box. Okay, so this won't work. We need to change it, uh, copy it directly from from um, from Microsoft Word. Okay, so uh, that's going to be part of what you're going to do. You're going to copy this and copy this, including this table, and copy this. All right, we can't copy everything. This doesn't apply, we're just copying the words. So that's gonna be uh, what you need to do. And then we're gonna compose it on our um, structure sheet once you're finished putting it in your S notes, okay? Put this in your S notes. All right, there you go. We'll come back when you're done uh, and give you the next step. So, um, we just copied and I changed everything. You just have to inspect um, that it's all, that it matches. Sometimes you're gonna lose your subscript, like this one here. You look at it, it says that um, you have a <clears throat> VULT, you have that, but here you have IW, and in the important factor, I lost my IW. So I have to bring that back. I have to double click, put in W here, small W or um, small W. And then highlight, and then up here you have to go to subscript, so it brings back the W. I have another one here, I S. So here I have to have an S. So S, highlight, subscript, okay. And then make sure that you don't lose any more of those subscripts, okay. And uh, we're we're done with this one, so um, we're done with that. I just I'll just draw a line to make sure that I'm done with that. And I'm done with this. Uh, now you have to copy the foundation again. <clears throat> so go back here to your um, oh. my mouse is too sensitive. And then Control Alt, and then select. The one with these kinds of numbers, uh, we you have an A, B, C, and you have an, a one, two, three. That's going to be hard to do. You have to do a lot of formatting, but this one should be easy. Simply right click, copy, go back to AutoCAD, and then Control V, and then you can change now the size and manipulate that one. And this one is called foundation. So when I double click here, I'm going to do type in foundation, press Enter, Enter, and then put my letter A period. Uh, space and accept that. Any unusual uh, live load? So this foundation here it says all foundation excavation. It designs soil bearing when live loads. Any any unusual condition? Where's that? That's supposed to be letter E. So this is letter E. So E period. Enter. No. Our letter B is supposed to be all foundation excavation. So this is your letter B. Control X, <clears throat> just close and then, sorry about that. Uh, my throat is giving me problems. V and then here, engineer drill. And my letter C is over excavation. So here again is over excavation. Control X, I don't want to see you again. So click down that one. Control V, press escape, press enter. Let's see. Um, why is this not okay? There you go. And then my letter D is uh, up here. Let's just move this. Let's just move this out of the way. So I'm done with that one. Um, this here. And then letter C is over excavation, and D is all backfill, which is this one. So double click. I'm going to control X this, and then press Enter, and then control V. 
Huh? I'm gonna do that. Just control V here, and then space. <clears throat> so there's no drawing on this document. I mean, no, on this uh, module assignment, you just have to make sure you format it this way uh, because we are going to adjust these boxes later. 95% relative uh, up to you, engineer. So we're going to just do this backspace, space, and then backspace, space. Okay. And then my letter E is any unusual, and then F is specification. So I guess this one is correct now. So backspace, 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 press enter. And then uh, press enter and space, and then specification of waterproofing. So that's my last one. So backspace enter and then here backspace space so engineer. So I guess we are done with the foundation. Okay. And then foundation, we're gonna move that. And I will leave you to finish the rest. Uh, we are well, you are going to copy reinforced concrete. Be careful uh, and format it this way. And then you're going to copy reinforcing steel uh, and adhesive anchors. You can do your own table here. Uh, copy this one too, up to this one. So we're going to copy up to 13. Okay, so this whole thing up to 13, you're going to copy it and make it, make it something like this where you can adjust the width of the boxes so that we can use that later for our drawing. Okay, so copy everything. We've, I help you with this one. You're going to copy the rest up to 13 uh don't erase anything yet okay and then uh we will continue this on part two of this tutorial all right